All right, folks, God bless you guys, and welcome to This Is It, 4321 Before the Fire. You guys want to see what the CNN Town Hall really was? You want to see it? You want to see what the behind-the-scenes spiritual thing was about it? All right, here we go. Pay attention. Um, so, so if you want to find this information, there's a... Uh, a folder that I'm working out of currently right now just so you can see it I'll go up so you can see it uh, the folder we're working at is to be a witness part two and as we go down pretty far down if you go down past these green CDs and you get to about right here you'll see right here you'll see Anderson Cooper right here and then you'll start seeing these symbols of Witchcraft, like here's a devil tarot card and some other, some other stuff that these are a couple witches, and we're gonna talk about casting circles for just a minute. They have their little pet cat called Lucifer. Um, anyway, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna show how CNN was really an occultic event. Do you believe that? See, I see past the veil, guys, way past the veil. The Vatican's a snake. The largest church in the world that says it's Christian is really Satan, posing as Christian. I was born and raised Catholic. My family was Catholic. As soon as I got saved, I was excommunicated from my family. So now let me show you what's going on here so you can see the, into the world of the little witch and how how they do things ready so let's talk about cnn so trump comes out for cnn town hall i'm gonna this is mark dice if you want to see a pretty funny video watch mark dice i'm just going to use trump walking out onto the stage so here's trump walking out onto stage and what i thought was really fascinating is the lighting they made sure so when you do lighting i don't know if any of y'all have done lighting but there's filters on lights you can have a five-pointed, you know, star filter, eight-pointed star filter. There's different types of filters, so when any light shows up in that filter, it will make whatever, you know, image is that filter is. They're using a, a four-pointed star filter on everything, and it makes X's. So all the lights make X's. I want you to look at the stage. What's in the dead center right here? They have CNN, and they have this really hostile witch right here. I mean, she, Trump even called her out and said, you're a really nasty person. And she was. She was rude. She was hateful. There's nothing kind about her. She wasn't there to do an honest, hey, let's talk. She was there to spew her nasty vitriol. And so here Trump walks out onto the stage. But let me show you what's really going on. So here he, he walks out onto the stage. He gets a pretty amazing standing ovation from the crowd. But he's walking into a witch's trap. Now, uh, you can go on, I'm not going to play these, but you can go on YouTube and you can just look uh, ca a circle casting. You see the circle with the pentagram in it. You can go look at, you know, uh, old witches. And... Hi, and welcome to Witch Ways. I'm Colette, and I'm here today to do a deep dive into circle casting. Okay, so circle casting is just a way the witch gets ready to do her spell. It's like, whatever, it's their prep getting ready and they make a pentagram on the ground inside of a circle. So they have a pentagram, which is considered the casting circle. Now y'all know that the upside down five pointed star, when you invert it, that becomes the sigil of Baphomet, which is Satan. And the whole system I've shown you is a right side up star, which represents an angel, and he gets inverted, turned upside down, put into the twin female system. Now watch this. So, you know, here she seems like a nice lady, but I'm sorry, she's into witchcraft, and God have mercy on her. I feel sorry for her. But let's watch one more time as Trump walks out on stage. So here he goes out on, oh, sorry, let me just see if I can get him walking out on the stage. There we go. We want to see the stage. I want y'all to see the lights. I want, okay, see the lights. Look at the lights. Pay attention to the filters on the light. See the filters on the light? What is it? It's that right side up, upside down triangle thing I've shown you over and over again. 
It's making an X. The, those are filters on the lights, right? Those are filters. Look at the stage. <laughs> it's a casting circle. The whole damn stage is part of a, a witchcraft. I mean, witchcraft is easy to see once you know what it is and once you know how they operate and what their little deal is. They think they're all sly and hidden, but the God's light reveals everything. Let me just show you. So let's do the stage. There you go. So I'm going to draw in the stage. So let's go back here. You see the five. Okay, let me enlarge this. So you see the stage. It is absolutely designed as a pentagram. And in the middle of the pentagram, they're going to do their little town hall meeting. Let's see. Here we go. There you go. So I've simply just drawn in the vertices of their stage. There it is. So you just follow the floor. You go to the floor and then there it is. And then let me go back to here you go. I think I have one where I, there you go. Okay. So there you go. So there is CNN having Trump out to interview him. And the lady that did it, you got to do a little deep dive on her. She's not a very nice person. She was very hostile, very cruel. Anyway, um, making false allegations, but that's what witches do. They make false allegations. They say stuff that's not true. I guess sometimes they actually say stuff they believe themselves because they're that deluded. So just listening to her talk was, was rough. But I have to admit, watching uh, Donald Trump handler was pretty, <laughs> it was embarrassing. I was like, huh? it was hard to watch. Anyway, so there it is. So there's proof. So no one can say that that's not a five, that's not a pentagram. And they purposely made it an upside down pentagram. Why did they just make a rectangular stage? Question. Why did they make just a square stage? It's easier. So why did they go to all the trouble to make this stage, make a triangle stage maybe? But they made absolutely a pentagram, and that's called a casting circle. That's Witchcraft 101. I mean, you can really just, you can go online and you can just see all oh, three ways to cast a circle. Watch this. Uh, if you go to the, if you go to the folder, uh, you know, it's pretty simple. Remember the center of the kelepot? Okay, the dead center of the kelepot is the right side up, upside down triangles representing the trap that we got caught in right side up upside down one eye that goes to heaven one eye that goes to the pit our eyes are dimensional troughs for for beings for for angels and demons and uh so anyway and so here it is and now let's talk about this young lady remember her you know who she is she is the for she was the foreman Georgia grand jury forewoman who wanted to speed a Trump has witchy Pinterest page. So here she is with her. Now this is, you know, the foreman of a jury making these allegations because see, Satan is the father of lies. Now, I don't know, you know, I saw him shred Brett Kavanaugh when he was going up for Supreme Court justice. And it was disgusting to watch what that woman was accusing Brett Kavanaugh of, and it was obviously and demonstrably false accusations. And actually, the Democrats knew it was false. But, you know, Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi, they, even though they knew it was false, they, they went and attacked a man so viciously because that's their nature. And then later, that lady that had accused Brett Kavanaugh, she came forward and said she was pressured by the DNC by the DNC to uh, continue forward with it because they didn't want Brett Kavanaugh. So that means even if they knew he was innocent, Brett Kavanaugh, they continue forward with knowledge that he was innocent. Same thing with the FBI and the Russia collusion. They knew it was all fake. So to go prosecute a man on charges you know are fake, you have to be one evil piece of dog feces to do that. That's evil shit. I'm sorry, it is. And if somebody doesn't like my language... I don't care. It's evil shit to do that. And I believe you reap what you sow. So they'll have their day. Everyone will. We all will. But so there she is. There's the little foreman for the jury. And the other thing that they were going on Trump, the trumped up nonsense. And if you go to her, uh, you go to her uh, page, you can see that she's all into witchcraft and 
Here's, uh, let's see, here's these other two girls. Let's see, incredibly petite, slightly gothic looking with huge eyelash extensions, learned to read tarot cards from her mother. She grew up Irish Catholic. She had the book filled with spells to enhance your sex life and become a millionaire. Okay, that's great. Uh, money is the root of all kinds of evil. But let's see, her and her sister, uh, no, her and her friend, um, they're like, Tandem witches, and the article talks about them. Uh, common thing is that I think I've seen it before many places. It's it's not uncommon to see that. I've seen it before in other places, and it's 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 not an uncommon thing. Um, so here's another very interesting thing from these witches. It's let's see. Um, oh yeah, I'm I'm sorry. I wanted to show you this tarot card. See this tarot card? They purposely staged this hand of cards. Uh, you can see right here the Vesica Pisces and some of the stuff that I've shown. You can see clearly how it's incorporated into the tarot cards. This is obviously a heart and it makes a face right here. It's an insect, like an insect face right here. And then here is the 2X and they turn that upside down. Now remember 2X. I've shown you 2X is the ultimate evil. 2X is... The dragon, here you go. At the Vatican, there's the dragon right there. I just put the the bottom part of the key. I just kind of colored it in. Uh, it is very obviously two X's on the keys. And this whole thing becomes uh, the face of the dragon. Uh, this was a phenomenal day in my life. When the, I got to see that. Anyway, you know what? I'm So I'm going to keep this pretty short about the Trump thing. Let's just take a look again there is there is the pentagram and there's no doubt that that's a pentagram now let's look one more time at the pentagram filled in there you go and if you watch the interview the woman was so hostile there's a there's a I'm trying to find the right vocabulary word Oh, now she's analogously, I don't know if that's exactly a word, but in, in an, uh, an analogous way, she is, she was a witch. She was a mean, hostile, you know, someone means na and nasty people call them, well, you're a real witch. Um, so anyway, so she was very uh, hostile and cruel, but she was in the middle of a pentagram with Donald Trump. And if she, anyone doesn't believe it, there it is. And they have all their four... They have on that four star filter, it makes an X. So the whole thing, see, big, big X here, big X here, two X going in the middle of a pentagram with a very hostile female. Uh, and Trump comes out, gets a standing ovation. Now, <clears throat> what was kind of funny was after Ocasio Cortez made her um, little statement which was pretty much nonsense because Trump, I mean, Trump has been unjustly accused of so many things that for that lady that was pressing him uh, on the current situation was nothing but hostile. She didn't want to hear anything that's truth. Normally they hate truth in any way, shape or form, unless in some way it tries to suit their purpose, but they certainly don't speak truth. Neither does this young lady right here. So let me show you something really funny. I want to just get to the end of this because they made a meme. Okay, so here's a meme. And I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit of uh, the volume from this Mark Dice video. But here's a meme that came out after <laughs> after the whole thing. It was like, here's the meme, okay? And I'm sorry, I just thought it was funny because it's true. So they tried to set up a, a trap for Donald Trump. They literally had a casting circle stage. What is the stage? Well, it's a pentagram. So they made a pentagram stage, but they made sure it was upside down. So it was an upside down pentagram stage. Sigil of Baphomet, Satan. So then they have X's on both sides, twin female, ultimate evil. And so they called Trump out for their little interview in a casting circle. Do you think that's messed up or that's evil? That's pure evil. What about the woman interviewing him? She was a witch. And I mean, and I'm using that euphemistically, she was a witch. She was nasty, mean, hateful, spiteful, malicious, a witch. And so Trump handled her really well. But here's what happened after the thing happened. Here's the meme that came out. They quickly made this meme as soon as the event wrapped up. 
That was President Donald J. Trump ripping us a new asshole here on CNN's live presidential town hall. Thank you for. <laughs> that was President Donald J. Trump ripping us a new asshole here on CNN's live presidential town hall. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, sorry. That's pretty funny. So they call him into a casting circle, into a, a pentagram with a really nasty, hostile interview. And I'll just call her a witch because she uh, she was very hateful, spiteful, malicious person. And so she, there, he's in there with her. She's trying to just front load the questions and just she had no interest in speaking truth, talking truth. She had no interest in a a. Uh, an honest discourse. It was she was trying to paint a, a false picture of Donald Trump, and it backfired on her. I think it's awesome. It's perfect. So anyway, let me show you a, a, a clip from SpongeBob. Y'all want to see everything I just showed you in a SpongeBob clip? So remember, two X. The the dragon's eyes are two X on one, and then two X on the other. That means female and female. Both eyes are female. That's the dragon system. Both eyes are female energy. Okay, within the system, like the pit, is twin female energy. Okay, but the system we're in, you got one eye that's female. One, one, The one going down is female. One going up is male energy. And that's what runs the system. So you have male and female energy in opposition to each other. I don't know if you guys know this, but the, there's a LGBTQ2S. Uh, Do you all know what 2S is in an LGBT? It's it's hard to keep track of the the letters they're putting in now, but let me show you. Just let me just go to the folder. Here we go. Let's just go to the folder and in the LGBTQ stuff. Here we go. Let's see. Just go up here a little bit. There it is. Okay. So there's Dylan Dylan Mulvaney. So if you look at the LGBTQ, see LGBTQSIA. Um, the, the two S stands, the two S stands for two spirit, which is part of their identity. So LGBTQ two S I A, uh, two spirit, intersex, asexual people. So lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, transsexual, queer, and two spirit intersex asexual so the two s right here two s right there stands for two spirit see two the number two and then the s is spirit two spirit okay what have i been tell what's jonathan click been telling you guys all the whole time you have an angel and a demon they're spiritual beings an angel and a demon doesn't get any more obvious what's happening to the world right now this lgbtqs thing is just rampantly taking over society you know drag time story hour for your little kids and in, in first second grade that's insanity but hey no big deal but what's taking over the system the two-spirit thing that's running the show who runs the two-spirit thing from the pit well what runs the flesh the dragon that's the dragon system the flesh belongs to satan so you have to be born again in spirit. So your spirit has to be renewed. You have to be born again. When you get born again, you get inverted and converted. It's the most stupid, obvious thing in the world now. But I guarantee all the witches in the world, the entire, the witchcraft thing, the big, oh, nobody can see what's going on. <laughs> They're going down now. Uh-huh, it's time. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do another video after this right now. So this is the this is the Trump. It was all a witch, uh, a little witchy event going on there. I'm going to do another video right now, guys. This morning I went for my, you know, my walk thing in the morning with the dog where we got to do a little physical training. And I went this morning just to go pray and just talk to the Lord about how, how overwhelming it is. All this message like it's over. The end is here. Let me show you what happened. So please watch the next video. Okay, I love you in Christ. And then I'm going to talk to you about Occupy Until I Come. Um, I'm fully expecting that things should be happening very quickly. That's what I, I believe. That's what I've had too many instances where I've been shown, you know, disappearing, 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 disappearing. I think six or seven in a row disappearing uh, communications. So... That's heavily on my mind, but I want to show you what 
I think is uh, a good idea for all of us. Okay.